I'm just saying, I just said hi. Uh, I see you're from Brazil, correct? Yes, I am. Okay. Is there any language barrier here? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, you speak English? Okay. Look, I'm from the States. We stupid. We don't know who speak English, who don't. <laughs> we stupid. You can speak English. What? We, I don't know who can speak. I don't know what country speak English. I don't. Oh, we do not speak English. I speak English. Why is that? Because I, I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, where'd you learn it? Like, learn. Oh, okay. I learned by myself, like, on the internet. Like, Are you serious? You learn English completely by yourself? Yeah. Like, watching movies, series. And That's fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank how, you. how long have you been able to speak English? A long time. Since I'm 11. I'm 19. <laughs> you know what, man? I've got to... What is a... a well... So y'all native language is it Brazilian or what is y'all's language? Uh, we speak Portuguese. Ah, see, I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to feel stupid. Once again, <laughs> Portuguese. We speak okay. Portuguese. Um, okay. Am I hearing your fan in the background? Is it that hot? It is. Actually, no, but I am like really. I really don't like to feel like not. I don't know how to do that, say that in English. Oh, you don't want to feel not hot? If I'm not feeling... Warm? If I'm not feeling like the... How do I say that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't like stale air. Yeah. You like yes, air to be moving. Yes, air. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, have you ever been to the States? No, I haven't. Oh, do you ever want I to come here? To, like, I want to. I want to. Well, all of us... Mm -hmm. listen, and listen, ma'am, this is nothing towards you. I'm a married man. I'm just saying this. Most of us men, we love you Brazilian women. Y'all look way better than our fat girls. <laughs> our girls just walk around every day. And I'm fat. And I'm saying that, you know? Bro, actually, uh, here in Brazil, we have that image that, like, United States, obese people. Mm -hmm. Like, hamburgers and everything. But then we also really like American, American guys here. Like, the woman here. I say, oh my god, I want an American boyfriend. You know? Do you want an American boyfriend? I mean, I don't want a boyfriend right now, but... Wait, you say you different. don't want a boyfriend? Right now? No. Why? I gotta... Uh, uh, well, no, we're getting into it now. Why don't you want a boyfriend? <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like I'm talking to my dad. Uh, wait. Um, I just... I... I'm, I'm intimidated. <laughs> You're intimidated? Is this? I no, I just don't think it's the right time because I'm studying right now. I'm doing college. I'm a PhD. My major. What? You know what a PhD is? No, I do not. Uh, you know, okay, so you have college. What do y'all call y'all's when you graduate? What do you get? Oh, I. A I bachelor's. Don't know how to put I would not know how to say that in English. Okay. How, how many years are you going to school? Oh, f school or college? Uh, oh, sorry. University. College. Okay. Okay. Four years. Okay. So in America, that'd be called a bachelor's, right? Two more years oh. in America, that'd be called a master's. A couple more oh. years past there, you get a PhD, which is a doctorate. Damn. Oh, okay. I'm doing psychology. My major. Right, so when I play this, I'm a PhD. See, when Man. when women in America get a degree or whatever you guys call it, they get big heads, right? No, nothing towards you, but they get uh, you know what an ego is? Oh, <laughs> they get ego, no. and so then they don't want to date the men, and then when they turn thirty and they go, I want a good man. Guess what happens? <laughs> And then guess what they have to go do? They have to go buy a dog and die alone. That's what happens to our women over here. So maybe don't just go for the college degree. Look for a man while you're going to college. Okay, I think I can do this. <laughs> okay, good. Cause you don't want that, you don't want that dog. You don't want that dog. I like dogs. 
Okay, well, they go buy a dog. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, trust me, you don't want a dog. Okay, you don't want that. Okay. So I do not want a dog. Okay, I'm no, learning. You need a man first. You get a dog, that fucks everything up. Okay, I need a man first. Did you have a boyfriend uh, while you were 18? I never had a boyfriend. So, how do you know? <laughs> You never even had a man. You're over here talking about, I don't want one. You ain't never got one. What do you, what? You're talking about, I don't want some. didn't want to. Okay. But you, at this point, though, if you got in a relationship, it would probably go poor because you've never been with a man. So you're going to be awkward. Sorry. All right. What was that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Explain yourself. What was that? <laughs> no. I said Sorry. No, what does it mean though? What does mimic meal mean? It doesn't mean anything. I'm just mimicking you. <laughs> oh, damn. That's how I sound? Mimic meal? No, no, you don't sound like that. <laughs> Sorry, you don't sound like that. See, when a guy meets you, you know what he's gonna do? Meep, meep. Out of there. He could be like, you know what? I thought she was cool, but I'm gone. You know, you're, you you ever you don't want to have that magical wedding out there, you and your husband, and it's all great. Just nope, not you. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Now. Are you, you're in college right now? Yeah. Okay. There are a lot of guys at your college. And then the guy came up to you and said, hey, uh, I don't know what how men do it for you guys. But no man's came up there and said, hey, girl, how you doing? You want to go on a date tonight? <laughs> I let him, whoops, sorry. <laughs> I let everybody have fun. Sorry about that. Never had Didn't mean to scare you there. <laughs> That'd be kind of awkward, wouldn't it? He, <laughs> if he walked up to you, he's like, hey, how you doing? Then he just, <laughs> I let him. That'd be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Would be kind of scary. Yeah, <laughs> that would be terrible if he just walks up immediately and just okay. Anyway, <laughs> but let's go back to what I first said. So a guy walks up to you, goes, "How you doing tonight, madam? Would you like to go on a pizza? Well, oh, well I say pizza. I'm American. Uh, what's a Brazilian dish? Here's uh, barbecue. Okay, hey young lady, would you like to go for barbecue? What are you gonna say? Uh, I usually I do put on the friend zone. <laughs> Why? Cause I want to like I don't want to say no because I don't want to be rude. So I already say oh we're gonna be just friends. So I say like oh okay I will come over with my bestie. And oh, that's that's so disgusting. Why? Yo. Really? You're it's gonna better tell than we say. It's better that I say like, yes, let's go on a date, and then I say I don't want a relationship. Like, it's better I say, bestie. Okay, I, I hope you get the same treatment when you get older, and you're like, oh man, I'm a good girl. <laughs> I got a PhD. I got my psychology degree. Can you take me out tonight? I want to be a housewife now, and they're gonna be like, uh, no. <laughs> All right, and you're just gonna be sitting there every night. You go to bed. There's not gonna be no man. There's gotta be nobody to sleep to you. All you're gonna hear every night is just. Just the crickets. And then every now and then you'll have to get up and your dog's gonna have to go to the bathroom. And that's it. <laughs> you want that life? Uh, I don't believe I will get that life. <laughs> Nobody does. Nobody does. Okay, when do you, okay, so when do you expect to get in a relationship? What age? Me? Um, probably in my 20s. I'm 19. Oh, how far into your 20s? Like, 23, 4? That's good. Okay. You better not yeah, let it like, start creeping up to 20. If you, you better not leave college without somebody. Because that's where you're going to see the most men. How, wait, let me ask you this. Well, what's y'all's currency? We have dollars here. What do y'all have there? Uh, yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me just yeah. look at it. 
It's my accent. My accent, bro. In Portuguese, we have a really strong accent. Okay. Yeah, it's like. Okay, birds. Let me just look it up. Brazilian currency. Uh, what? Okay, well, let me just look this up. What's a hundred dollars in Brazil? Four ninety one point. It says forty four hundred and ninety one BRL. The... BRL? Wait, what? Yeah, in, in English, it's called Brazilian real. Uh, ah, yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all call it real? real. Yeah, yeah. Okay, real. Okay, okay, but okay. In, in okay, so. Like, we say yeah, that's what I said. Okay, let's go. How much would a man need to make to get with you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you know, girl? You just. <laughs> You're just living life in the wind, huh? <laughs> Fantasy land. Come on. Wait. Okay. He has to get, like, probably, like, uh, in reais or in dollars? Well, I don't think you know that. I don't know. I don't think you know yeah, that conversion, well, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just say okay. it in whatever. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I would probably, like, um, like, Go ahead. Two, two, two K reais, but like just because if I think like uh, for words, like living together, you know. Two things rise to, ma'am. That's four hundred and six dollars. You talking okay. about two thousand reais a year? No, not a year, month. That's here in Brazil, it's like that. Uh, okay, two. Oh, so that's. I, I, I gotta be reading this wrong because you'd be dead broke in America. Uh, <laughs> let me look up y'all's average salary so I get a little bit more of a understanding. Bro, here in Brazil, you can't live like this easily. Oh, wait a minute, ma'am. It says y'all's average monthly wage is 8,560 reais. So yes. if your guy was making that, he'd be broke. No. Too much, but we are both gonna make money. I want to work too. But he be broke. If the average is what, eight thousand, he's making far less than that. No, like. Oh, hold on, let me make sure I look, I'm looking at this right. The okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me. I said no, so that's right. Eight thousand five hundred and sixty reais. That's the average income for y'all. How many? Eight thousand five hundred and sixty reyes is y'all's okay. average salary, so he would be broke. It's not eight thousand, eight thousand. It's one thousand. One thousand is y'all's average. One thousand and like something. I don't remember. Let me let me look it up again. One thousand and something. I don't remember. Okay, hold on. What did the Brazilians have in her? Uh, the average salary in Brazil is, it still says eight, everywhere I go it says 8,000. But this, you have to say, no, I'm thinking about like the, we have like a minimum. Yeah, y'all minimum wage say, is 1,212. Yeah. That's broke. No, it is not. You're not Brazilian. I am Brazilian. I know. Ma'am, you said the minimum wage. That means enough to barely live on. No. Okay. Like, okay. How, okay. How much money do you, like, how much money do you expect to make a month with your degree, after you finish oh, college? Me? A thousand. Um, me probably. In the beginning, I expect like. <laughs> stop looking at me like that. You're judging me. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, well, like in the beginning, I want to like, like before I get my other things like. Other specialization. Mm. I I'm a PhD. Like six. You said six thousand. Like. In yeah. so six thousand in the beginning. Yeah. So I you want to get better. So <laughs> hold on, you're making six thousand. You want a man who's making two thousand, broke. Like that's. The, yeah, I don't care. Like he can get more opportunities. When we are together, he can learn more and get better. Oh, so he has to make more money. You wouldn't be happy if he only made 2000 for the rest of his life? 
Oh my God! I think he wouldn't be happy making just that. And Why? I you said it. Well, you said it was good. I said it was broke. You said no. No, like it is good to live. Like you can live like that, but of course we want a comfortable life, like a more comfortable. So he wants. He would want to get even better. So yeah, that's it. So 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 if he's making two thousand, he'd be living. He pretty much be living in a one bedroom shack. Yeah. So he'd be broke. Why can't you just admit that? Yeah, okay. He would be broke. Okay, because you wouldn't want to date a man who only makes 2000 You want him to make more. So let's go back to the original question. How much... Okay, wait. Wait. You. The question is, how much a man has to make to be with you? He has to make at least this much of money. If he makes this much of money, for me, it's okay. I don't care. Like... I, I know that he can maintain himself like this. So if he makes more, even better. But it's okay if he makes just this. Okay, so you're saying if he only makes 2000 a month for the rest of his life, you'd be okay with that? No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So let's go back to the original. How much does he need to make a month for you to be with him the rest of your life? For ever like the money that he has to have like forever what what would be good for you to be comfortable you said he'd be broke with 2000 so what would make you comfortable okay let me think there we go go ahead <laughs> but like it's his money at the end of the day like oh no 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 if y'all are together and married you think it's gonna be just his money no okay married yeah, we're talking about marriage, girl. I don't talk about boyfriend, girls, friends. We talk about marriage, wife. Go ahead. Life together, like mm -hmm. house together, mm -hmm. kids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then, I will do at least, oh, I don't know, wait. Oh, now you know. Okay, you know, girl. Life. Go ahead. Comfortable life, fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand reyes a month. That's what you said. Fifteen thousand. Now I need to look that up just so I can understand. That's that's would be probably what a lawyer make in Brazil. A lawyer. Okay, so let me see. What? Well, let me see. Uh, fifteen thousand <coughs> reyes a month. Man, I can't believe I'm learning all this. Yes. <laughs> it's really that important. Why are you so invested in this? Well, my mind is so invested because I want you to have a good outcome. I don't want you to die alone. Thank you. You're so sweet. Yeah. Uh, I see it happening That's too much, and it's day. happening in a lot of countries. Let's see. 15,000 times 12 months, right? Oh wait! A hundred and eighty thousand. Can I, can I make to 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 twelve twelve thousand? No, girl. You said fifteen. That's what you want. A hundred and eighty thousand. I, I didn't think well. Come on. I wasn't in my right mind. You were in your right mind. Do you want to travel? No, I'm okay. You don't. You don't want to. You just want to stay in your own little country and never leave. Never go anywhere else. Just. Yeah, okay. 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 Do you want your kids to go to? Do y'all have private schools there? Yeah. And you want your kids to go to private school or public school? Yeah, probably private school. I okay. Well, guess what, madam? He's gonna have to be making a lot to do that, right? Right. Okay. So back to what we were saying. A hundred and eighty thousand reds. Okay. Uh, let's see. One hundred eighty thousand. I gotta. I gotta. Gotta compare that to America just to, so I can understand a little bit more. All right, to USD. Ma'am, over here, that'd be $195,000. Ma'am, you, know you know what percent of men make that kind of money? Yo, like, it's different here. But, okay, say. It's different. That's still wealthy in Brazil. 180,000 reyes a yeah. year is wealthy. So, what you mean yeah, it's different it there? There's not a lot of men making but that. I mean, but what I think about, look... Try to understand my mind. I'm thinking about like he's <laughs> like 
he's gonna make like this money only like after he's 50 when he's like an old guy who's still like in the you know top the how do i say that okay Damn. okay so you I'm so you're so okay with him being 50 okay so you're gonna build with your man until he makes that money Like that. No, I'm oh asking. You, are, you, are you saying you're gonna marry a guy and he'll make that money eventually? Yeah, I think okay, well, I wanna marry Okay, well then your kids ain't going to private school, ma'am. Okay. It's okay. Here, private school are in number Okay. As long as you're I, okay I can, with that, but there's no way he's gonna make I that can money. Do with it. I can do with it. Yeah, but I'm just saying if you say fifty, I would hope his kids are grown by then. You know, you don't want to have a ten year old and your husband's fifty. So your kids are probably going to be out of the house and they ain't getting no homeschool. They're getting public school, graffiti on the walls, urinals. They're, they're getting that. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with public school. It's yeah. a little tougher, but as long as you're okay with it, ma'am, as, as long as you're okay with it. I don't understand why you're still turning down men as if your education is more important, but, you know. I'm not saying that. Well, it does. You just said that you would turn down a man because you want to focus on your studies. Nah, but that's like not is I think because I wouldn't be able to manage manage a relationship and I wouldn't be able to give enough attention to my man while I'm He's not a puppy. What do you mean get enough attention? He's not a, he's not a, if he's in college just like you Relationship relationship needs attention. That's like you know that. Ma'am, and back here in the states, you know how many people I've seen get together in college and do just fine? I'm talking about top okay. GPAs. Talk about honor students. Yeah. I was an honor student in no, college. Not, yeah, I, I bet they do. But I think I'm talking about me. I wouldn't be able to do it. You can't study together. Me. No, I just don't think I would be like. I don't want. I don't want to have. It's not that I don't. Thank I don't you. Want. That's that's. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. It ain't about you can't do it. You don't want to do it. You don't even want to try. It'd be too hard for you. Ma'am, yeah. I don't. If you think managing college and a boyfriend's gonna be hard, wait till you manage life and try to be in a relationship. When you got bills to pay and you have to figure out a way to eat and you're looking for a job, you think life's gonna get easier after college? You think life just settles down? <laughs> no, Dang. I know. Okay. Yeah, life gets harder when you get out of here. See, in college, you have a roof over your head. Are you gonna be living at college? Huh? Are you gonna be living at the college? No. Okay, are you going to have a job? Yeah. You're going to have a job? I, I already have a job. How many hours do you work a week? A week? Probably like, I do right now 40. You work 40 hours a week and you go to college? And I go to college. Okay, so when do you go to school? When, what time do you go to class? If you work 40 hours a week. Class? No, I think I got it wrong. Wait. Oh, yeah. I think okay, I okay. So you... Go, you oh, snap. Give me... Probably is wrong. <laughs> okay, give me one second. I got to switch cameras, okay? Oh. I'm going to switch to this camera right next to me. Uh, and I will continue I talking. I got it wrong. Wait, let me translate this. Okay, so let's continue talking. Don't worry about the sound, okay? I'm going to have my head turned... <laughs> I'm going to have my head turned this way. Okay, so let's continue. So, you have college. You're living at. How often do you go to work? I every morning. Okay, from what time to what time? Okay, six, seven in the morning to like. In the beginning of the evening, you know. And when do you go to school? In the evening. Okay, so you go to work in the morning. You work all the way till night, and then you go to school in the evening? No, I, wait. I work in the beginning of the morning to the beginning of the evening. Evening, I start college, and I leave college in the beginning of the night. Okay, what do you consider the evening? Can you give me a time? Okay, probably like uh, 1 p.m. to oh, okay. like Okay, so, okay. so you don't work necessarily 40 hours a week. You work... <sighs> seven to three would be the AR day. So you work six hours a day. So six hours a day, five days a week, 30 hours a week. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm confused. Ah, man. 
Would you be working if you had a boyfriend? Mm. If I would be working if I have a boyfriend? Yeah, okay. I mean, he'd be able to. Uh, what do you What do you need money for? What do you do with it? With my money? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you do with it? I buy clothes. I I help here at home. I buy food. I buy things for my dog. So what if you? So what if you could cut that in half? Huh? What if you had a man who could help you at least with the clothes and a little bit of the food? You could then you could work fifteen hours a week, right? Yeah. See, that's all I'm saying. Something to think about. Make life easy. You're 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 gonna be working your life hard as hell. You're still young. And you're gonna wait until you're old and thirty and then you got no choice but to work. Cause no why do you think I'm gonna have a boyfriend just in my thirties? Huh? Because you, ma'am, the way you sound right now, your your attitude. I've seen this many a times. Women like you, y'all's attitude gets worse. <laughs> Yo. If you don't feel like you need a man now, what ends up happening? You get out of college, you go. I, I you know what? Say I, I don't need a man. I said I don't want to. Ma'am, what's the difference? Yeah. What's the difference between I don't want a man and I don't need one? If you if if, if you felt like you yeah. needed him. Maybe okay, so you feel like I, you need a man. Like, maybe it would be better if I have a partner in life right now, but I don't want that right now. Thank you. So you don't feel like you need a man. That's what I'm saying. If you, okay. felt, if you felt like you needed a man, you would be like, oh, I got I to gotta make sure I get one, but you don't feel like you need that. Right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Think about it. If I said, if you needed water and you were dying of thirst, what are you going to go do? Get some water. But you don't feel like that about a man. You feel like he's just a part of your life. But not I will not die if I don't have a man. I like I no, you die. won't die. You'll die alone. I didn't say you'll die. I said you'll... What did I say? You said you'll die alone. Are your parents married? Huh? Is your mother and father married? My, my mother and father. You know what married is? Are they married? I know, I know. <laughs> I, I just think it's funny, the question. Yes, they are. That's a funny question? Okay. When did they get married? You know how old your mom was? When they get married? Yeah, you know how old your mother was? Yeah, she was 18. Oh. <laughs> Can't make my it mom, up! My dad, my, my dad is 12 years older than my mom. Exactly, because you know why? Because he was making money. He was getting well established so he could have a no. wife. <laughs> My dad's the most poor as fuck. My dad was broke. My dad was broke. Uh, you got a roof over your head? Is, this, is that your parents' house? Here? Yeah. No. I live in a house with my brother. He also goes to college. Did you grow up with your parents? Huh? Did you grow up at home with your mom and dad? If I go see them. Girl, did you grow up with them? Did you live in the house growing up? No. Yeah, I lived with them growing up. So you had a roof over your head? Roof over your, over your head? What does that uh, mean? A roof, a ceiling. You had a house, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did y'all have food? Yeah. Did y'all have water? Yeah. And you're going to college? Yeah. Then, madam, what are you talking about? Sound like your father was a good man. He was. He was a good man. That's why my mom married him. But he started making money after he had the children. And now look at y'all. Your mother has two kids that are going to college. Yes, but uh, here in Brazil we have public college that we don't pay. You know? Y'all don't pay to go to college? So anybody can go? If you're... No, I was, I will explain this. Here in Brazil, you have to take a test. If you're really good at that test, then if you're like, oh my God, this kid is super smart. Let's give him a college, public, like, and then you go to a public college. But if you don't pass the test, huh, you're gonna, you're gonna have to pay, like you're kind of dumb, and then you pay. So your yeah, parents raised work. two smart enough kids to go to school for free. And your mother married at 18. <laughs> yeah. What's the problem? If she did it, why are you so scared to do it? I don't know. Thank you. I, I think, Thank you. I think my my mom just didn't like said the right thing is to marry at eighteen. I, she didn't pass that that 
thing for me. Yeah, she failed you. <laughs> what? It's, did she tell you to finish college first? Nah. She didn't even talk to you about marriage? She didn't say nothing about being married? So okay. you have no idea how to even be a wife. I have an idea how to be a wife. I saw my mom be a wife. Oh, no, no, no. Did, did she teach you? Did she say, hey, this is what you need to be doing for your family and all these things? You said she hasn't even talked to you about marriage. So how did she teach you to be a wife? She hadn't even spoke a word to you about getting married. Yeah. She yeah. didn't, right? She didn't even say, hey, yeah. how did that teach you to be a wife, girl? Explain that to me. And she hadn't even talked to you about being married. I mean, I saw it. She doing that every day. I didn't think that. Okay, you saw it. That. You saw it. You saw it. So if you, you're a smart girl, right? You take tests, right? So if the teacher was to just teach you stuff, never gave you a test, nothing. She said, all right, guys, here's how you do this problem. And here's the answer, right? Didn't explain it. Didn't teach you. She said, two plus two equals blank. And she gives you the answer. Doesn't teach you how she got there. Doesn't matter. You just learn it that way? Or did she? Did the teacher teach you how to do stuff? Yeah, the teacher teach me how oh. to do stuff. So you didn't just watch? My mom does attitudes. Like, being a wife every day. I saw it. Season. She does the be attitudes? Like... She, I saw her attitude was like being a wife every single day. And I, oh, that's how it is to be a wife. No, it's see. Like, oh, you have to do this, this, and that. That's like, not you're I, supposed to teach. That's what, that's what you see young men. That's what you see fathers do with young men. Hey, son, here's how you do this with money. Hey, son, here's what you do with this job. Hey, son, here's what you do here. That's what my yes. father did with me. My father sat me down and said, hey, look, this is how insurance works. This is how this works. This is how this works. I didn't just watch my father. There's no way I would have learned. There's no way I could just watch my father and be like, oh, that's how you pay bills. Because I've never, <laughs> I would have never known that. I would say, oh, that's, that's how you pay car insurance. Oh, that's what it means to do a checkbook. I, I can't just watch those things. He would have to teach me. Just like learning your ABCs. They can't go, here's A. You wouldn't know what the fucking A was unless they told you. It said, A means this. You learn English, Right? Yes, I did. Right. You were being taught that by watching these movies, right? You have to learn what pickle means, what baseball means. These movies were teaching you. But when I, like, for example, you're not understanding every word I'm saying because English is my f first language, right? Some words you don't understand, yes. like dollar, right? Dollar? Right. When I asked you what is the conversion chart from this yes, to this, yeah, 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 yeah. you don't know it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you don't know how many. If I said, "What's a hundred dollars in reals?" Do you know that answer? No, I would be like, pro I would say probably like this or that, like between this or that. Yeah, but if I, I taught you, exactly. but if I taught you, a hundred dollars in America is four hundred and nine reals. You know what I mean? The exactly, because I just taught you that. You can't just watch me do stuff. I can't pull out a hundred dollars and pull out reals and say, "Here, you see." That wouldn't help you. I agree with you. Okay. So she didn't teach you to be a wife. You watched her, okay. which means nothing. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say anything. You're a nice young lady. You're a lot different than American women. I'm not trying to push it. I am kind of treating you like an American woman because that's what I know. Okay. I'm not trying to be overly harsh here. And I'm sorry you haven't looked at the side of my face. But nonetheless... Ma'am, all I'm saying is you sound just like an American woman with the I'm going to go get my degree first. It's different on here. I think so. <laughs> you keep saying that, but ma'am, I talk to women every Cause day. Because I, I, I don't see that American woman like who's like that here. here. Like, it's not, I'm not used to see that type of woman here. You know? Right, but you know when I said this? I'm a PhD. Why do you think I said yeah, that? I didn't because understand. because women sound just like you here. They would say the same thing. If I ask a woman from America, why why aren't you with a man? The first thing they're gonna tell me is I want to go to college and focus on my studies. They say the exact same thing you do. Uh -huh. And when I say, Well, what about the men who try to date you? And they say the same thing. 
friend zone. Same thing. Let's let me bring my let me hook you up with my best friend. They say the same thing. Y'all are no different when it comes to that. Yes, I think so. So you know better than me. Yeah, man, this, what I do for a living, ma'am. I talk to people all day. Oh, that's one, good. Yeah, all day, every day. And I do this on the internet. So I talk to people from different countries, just like you. And nice. the only place I see that's really not like this, that's not too westernized, is probably the Middle East. But this, you're in South America, right? Yeah. North America, South America, the UK, London, all the same. Australia, we're all the West, so we all act the same for the most part. Just because you're in South America, you probably still act like a Western woman. Why? Because you live in the West. Okay. So y'all aren't that different. You just say you want a man making 180,000 reyes. That's the same thing women say over here. Like in my late years of life. Yeah, yeah, I get that. You at least said that. That's one thing that was different. You said when we're 50, but you also say you want your kids to go to private school. You didn't even think that that's not possible if you're with a man until he's 50. Unless you get a man who's 50. <laughs> Would you date an older man who's like 35? Like, I don't know. It depends like how much older, like. Th 35. 35 when I'm 19 right now? Yeah. No. What's the highest you would go? Right now, probably 30. <laughs> no, kids ain't going to private school. Nope. So there you go. So that's what I'm saying. Men don't start making their financial stride till they're in their 40s, pretty much. That's when they start making the most money. So you're right about that. So yeah, private school, out of the question. But that's fine. I don't care if your kids are going to private school. That's a you thing. But I want you to just be happy and not... Because, man, I'm telling you, when you get your little psychology degree, when you turn 30 and get to your 30, 35, you're going to be like, oh, my God, I'm tired of fucking working so much. It happens to a lot of women. You said a lawyer, right? Let me try to explain this slowly. In the United States, women like you who become lawyers, right? When they turn 30, most of them quit. Because the work's too much. They want a family. So most women, once they start cracking those 30s and they've been working for 10 years, they look up and they go, damn, I'd rather not have to work so much. Because it's different when you have to work all the time just to keep eating and get your lifestyle. You'd rather get a man who can take the burden off your shoulders. So even if you do work, you don't have to work. You work maybe you work 20 hours a week because you might like the job. But it's harder when you're like, damn, I have to go to work. If I don't go to work, click, my lights are getting cut off. It's so much different, ma'am. It's, it's fun when you're young, living good life, hanging out with your friends. But you start cracking those 30s, most women are like, oh, God, no. <laughs> I don't want to do this no more. So what do you think would be, like, if you were a woman, what would you do? Get a man. Be the first thing I would get like, in shape. I would try to get in the best shape like of my how life. Old? Huh? How old? Right out the gate, baby. <laughs> like as soon as I turn Okay, I probably if the latest I would wait is probably 23, 24, right? But at 18, 19, 20, best believe I'm on the prowl. I'm gonna be like, I, let me see what I can find. Okay. I would be listening because I'm I saw Big Mama break down working until she was 60. You would you would find like an older man? Like rich older man? Or you would if I look good enough, yeah. It depends. If I'm ugly, no. I'm not getting him. But if I look good, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because to be honest, if the girl's not attractive, the, a rich man's not going for her. It's just is what it is. But if she's pretty... Rich man has a lot of options. Exactly. So if I look good, if I'm like an 8, 9, or a 10... Yeah, I'm going for Big Daddy. I'm going for the, I'm going for the man with money. I'm not trying to work. But if I'm ugly, I'm be like, well, I'm going for an average dude because I look average or below, and I'm just gonna get with that and build and do what we can. Okay. And I, I think you're cute enough where you could go for a rich man, but you don't want that. So it's what it is. So you'll go for the probably the average dude making average money because he's in his twenties and build from there. 
But he may be broke the rest of his life. Who knows? It's, it's a gamble. That's the thing. is When you give it a young man, you don't know if he's going to make a lot of money or if he's not. You don't know what he's going to do. You're just guessing. You're just guessing. I think, I think the thing about like getting a, like, a man with money, focusing on the money, is that he's focusing on your beauty. And that's okay. Everyone yeah. has their the things that they want. But uh, the money like will only grow. Your beauty don't. Exactly. That's why you get them while you're young because you're only gonna get older. Yeah. Once your beauty so, fades, guess what? So does the rich man. There'll be no more left. So yeah, yeah. So the rich man doesn't like stick with you forever because your beauty doesn't. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. That's what you said. No, 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 no. No. There's rich no, men no. who will get with a young woman and stick with her because he wants to have what? What do rich men want? Well, beauty and what else? Legacy. And to have legacy, what do they need? Children. That's how you build an empire. You get kids that will keep your name going and build a legacy and an empire with your family. So yeah, men who are wealthy, they want that wealthy they want they make that money not just for ah, oh, I just want money. No, they want to help their family for as long as they can. And so when they're gone, that money continues to help their grandkids that they love and their great kids, great grandkids. So it's not about just money. It's not just about beauty. Yeah, they're going to go for the beautiful women because they have options, but they also want somebody they can marry and have kids with, which is why they would never date somebody like you because guess what you're going to be doing? You're going to be working. Do rich men want a woman who's working? No, because they already make enough money. Your money isn't going to mean anything to a wealthy man. If I make 300,000 reyes, why would I need your 65,000 reyes? It, it, it's, it's, it's nothing to me. I'd rather you be working for me and taking care of the kids and that stuff. Right? So that's what I'm saying. You. That's what I'm saying to you. Your options are going to go down because you're going to be making money and you want to work. If you want to work, a rich guy is not going to want you. He's going to pick the girl who will stay home because I make enough money. I'm already busy. Why would I want to come home to nothing? No wife because she's at work. What the hell is that? I didn't make $300,000 to come home to an empty house and my kids are being thrown to daycare. No. I want my kids to be raised exactly like I want them to be raised. And if my wife is working, that won't happen. Somebody else is going to raise my kids, and I have no control over what they teach them. No rich man is going to want that. Do the things to think about, young lady. I was thinking about by who I was raised by right now. Sound, sound like your father was a good man. He may not be wealthy, but he was a good man. No, my dad worked. My mom worked. I was raised by my, bro my brother. Right. That's because your father, once again, he wasn't there. It happens. I'm not here to say your man, the, your father's a bad man because he didn't have it. It's hard to get wealth. Yeah, it's hard. Not. Huh? He's trying to, yeah. he was trying to make bring food to the table as well as my mom. So I was raised by my brother. Like, yeah. It happens. But there are men who are making money. You have the opportunity to get that. But, you know, you want to waste all your beautiful years on school? Go do it. But it, it, in the end, it's going to get you nothing. That's all I'm saying. You're going to get this degree, and you'll maybe be happy at work for a little bit, but that money is going to... And that time is ticking. You know? Every day. So you choose your path from here. You build with the man, or you get a wealthy man. That's, the, that's your two options. It's, it's what you care about. If you care about your kids going to private school, I would focus... In college, I need to get a man who makes that kind of money. If you don't care about that much, keep doing what you're doing. And go live, go get your degree, and be happy. But once 30 hits, you're stuck. That's all. I will get a man before 30s. Come on. Huh? I will get a man before 30s. You better. You better get him while you're 23, 24. You better. That's what I said. Yeah, you just better hope they're still there because the other women who are like, uh, F this, I'm only here for college to get a man. They're going to start sc scooping these men up. So by the time you get to your senior year, guess what you're going to have over? Leftovers. You're going to have what's left. Because these, some of these women, they go to school 
They go to college, they get the degree, but the whole time, what are they trying to do? Get a man. So they start freshman year. Oh, 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 oh. That's Billy? He's going to be an engineer? I'm going to Billy. Oh, Billy, he said he's going to law school? I'm getting with Billy now. I'm going to do this stuff now. Because by the time you get to your senior year, they're already engaged and getting married off. And the men who didn't get women, guess what? Nobody probably wanted them. So that's why they didn't get nobody. Right? The men who are going to be wanted are probably going to get picked off early, right? The men who are not wanted, they'll make it to their senior year with nobody. Something to think about. Something to think about. Something this has been a great conversation. I will think about it. <laughs> okay. I will, I will hear your, your voice in my head. Yeah, think about it. Talk to your brother, too, and see what he thinks. Yeah, I will try. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, I appreciate the conversation. You were very nice. I appreciate it, too. You're a really kind guy. Thank you. I hope you have a great night, madam. You, too. Have a good night. You, too. Thank you. Bye-bye. I hope you don't find any rude woman, because you may find. Some oh. people don't want to hear the truth. So, yeah. Oh, I, I, I talk to a ton of women, ma'am. It's all good. I give them the same thing, you know? Gone. All right, have a good one. Good night. Good night. Sorry, guys, y'all had to watch the whole damn thing from my face over here, but that was a good-ass conversation. So we're putting that clip up, baby.